Hello, if you are watching this, you are a market partner with Monty and maybe you are trying to take it to social media to grow your business, grow your audience and you know, someone really cares about you if they sent you this and if it was me, I really care about you. I want to see you do your best. I find that when I have new market partners, there are certain things that people just instinctively innately begin to do um and the first thing most people do is they change their instagram name to like something with my name in it, in it or they go and start a completely new instagram for their business with money in it or they go and edit their bio and they want to tell the world like i'm a money market partner in their bio they can't wait to put it um and then they put their their website in their, you know, their money uh, landing page in their website. And it's just money. It, like, it's like money overload all of a sudden. And um, while I love this, I love this. There's two different ways you can be excited and run with it. And this is not the way to do it. Okay. What's going to happen is we have about seven seconds to win someone over with our social media. And the idea behind what your Instagram is, um, and I'm talking mostly about Instagram, Facebook, obviously people can like change and add their jobs and stuff. You're not really going to change your name on Facebook to put money in there. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily, you know, paint the whole page money. I'm going to be teaching you guys in this video super quick, not hopefully not too long, but just to give you like the rundown so you can understand like the big concept behind why and how social media is going to help you. And it's not going to help you because all of a sudden money is plastered all over everywhere. What we're really, really going to help you and what's going to help you be better on social media and get the most bang for your buck out of this is actually you being you on your social media and just being more of you on your social media. Because most people aren't daily posters, right? Like maybe you join this and you're like, hey, I'm going to give it a shot. And you were like a holiday poster, you know, like whenever you got the kids, you know, dressed up together, cute, or, you know, like a random kind of poster. Now, accepting this and clicking join now and saying, I really want to do this right, you owe it to yourself to follow some steps. Okay. So the steps are you need to jazz up your page a little bit. Like I said, when someone clicks on your page, they have about seven seconds. Um, to make up their mind if they want to buy from you or if they want to click follow or I'm sorry, not buy. If they want to click follow along with your story or unfollow. Um, if all of a sudden you turn into a money advertisement, you're going to get some unfollows. You're going to, you're, you're considered spam. That's not what we're telling you to do. Um, and so you want to start with your first and last name, okay? And do not go start a brand new page. But I'm gonna be talking to everyone as though they're starting from scratch because in a sense, even if you have 20, 30,000 followers, you still are starting from scratch with, with money and you still need to be introducing your money business to your social media following. And there's a right way to do that. And even if you've done it the wrong way, like just started posting, flash sale graphics or, you know, graphics that like all about the oil or all about this. And you, in, in your heart is you want to teach people about it, right? You want, like, you love the products now you're sold. So you just think if you throw out something that other people are going to get that same sentiment. But what, what you're missing is, is the element of you explaining it to people. Okay. And most people follow you for a reason. They click, they clicked, add friends, they click follow, they've messaged with you, they've established a relationship with you, they like you. And so when you start showing up as you more, well, that's how you grow trust. And you reestablish those relationships on social media. And so I know this isn't going to be, you might, you might have thought like, oh, okay, well, this is going to be like the quick tips to like success. And really, it's through just teaching you how to show up as you and be you and really help you get that attraction to you and not turn people off, right? We don't, that's the last thing we want to do. So, and what I've seen people do, um, and I just did this this morning, okay? And I'm not, not going to name her. I don't want to call her out, but 
Um, she started a brand new Instagram, which is fine. I mean, I know people that have done it and they've done it fine because she only had an account for her daughter. Okay. Which I get it. It's like, okay, well, you know what? This account needs to be about you. So let's do it. Right. I told her first things first, make it your first and last name so people can find you. Okay. If you have like, you know, Heather seven, three, six underscore money or whatever, it's like who we can't find you anywhere. Right. And so you want it to be where people can identify it's you and go, Oh, she has a new Instagram. Right. So if you have some weird name, and some obscured photo of you, no one's gonna know. So you wanna be findable. So that's step one. First name, you don't have to do your last name. It's ideal if you do, but I get people get weird about privacy and stuff. So first name, middle name, um, if you can, um, but you want people to be able to identify you, okay? Your bio, this is not like your um, you know, Tinder profile or a, it's not like, like list the things about you, like two kids, dog owner. I'm a Pisces, you know, like you don't want that. You want this to be something that draws people in. So the last thing you want in your bio is I'm a money market partner. Because what are most of us going to do? Even if I go to someone's page and I see, um, you know, independent distributor with it works. I'm like, oh, she's just selling something and she doesn't really know what she's doing kind of. Right. And so then it's probably when you're, it's very, very likely when you scroll down, you're just going to see a bunch of advertisement. That's not following someone that's following a page and money already has a page. People can follow that if they want, but guess what? They want to follow you to see you. So we have a thing called pillars. You're going to hear a lot about this. Okay. And what this is, and this is something you need to think about now that you are going to be operating your business to grow your network, utilizing social media is you need to be thinking about your pillars. And these are things that like encompass who you are, identify things that you have in common, like, you know, connection points for people with you. So for me, adoptive mom, I'm sober. I um, have a daughter with special needs. I was a hairstylist. I love women empowerment. I love funny things. Like these are pillars that make me me. These are also things where if I'm posting about them, right? And I'm talking about my adoption story and I'm talking about um, being a parent with uh, of a child with special needs and I'm talking about being a hairstylist. Well, the odds of another person that's very similar to me, right? Maybe have one thing in common with me. Maybe they're hairstylist. If they can come over and easily see within the last two rows of posts um, that I'm also a hairstylist, they are way more likely to click follow on me. And so this is why it's calm. It's very, very important for you to then rotate this. Okay. And this is building a track record. And you can tell stories about yourself. You can tell stories like if, and I like to use baking as an example. If baking is one of your pillars and baking is a passion of yours. It's not just recipes all the time, which are great though, because people bookmark those. And that really does help your algorithm. If you're getting bookmarked on your post, you want things people are saving, right? But if you begin to like show old pictures, like who taught you how to bake? Why is baking so important to you? What recipes mean what to you? Like when you get into a little bit more of who you are in your things, when people that you run into go, oh, you know what? I really, I remember her from high school. I really did like her. I'm going to follow her. They can get sucked in because you're, you've got all these little stories and all these cool things about you. Um, your significant other, your kids. How did you pick your kid's name? What are, who are they named after? Well, how would you, there's like, I have posts on posts on posts that give you, you know, 30 different ways you can talk about your dogs. Okay. And that way it can stay your pillar. If you're a proud dog mom, that can stay your pillar. And so we have tons of ideas for you and idea starters and sparkers for you to do this so that you can begin to grow those connections and those relationships and draw people to you through your social media. Um, but it's important that you identify things that make you you and the type of people that you want to attract to you. Because I know if you're brand new and you probably are watching this, it is more, you're like, I'll take anyone that wants to join me. And that's just, you're going to come to realize that's not really true. You want, you want people that have similar, you have things in common with, you have connections with, 
Um, and this is the way you're really going to draw that out and bring it to you. And we call this fishing. This is where you're dropping lines and people can come check you out and see. Money needs to be integrated into this. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to say that's very common is, um, you know, erasing money, the word money, like off of your, your bio, off of your website, you can put the hair quiz in there because if someone clicks on it, they're going to start answering questions. Okay. They're going to click around and tinker around. Um, we have, there's a thing called link tree campsite. There's all kinds of different things that you can use that become like a landing page where you could put a little bit about you. So you could link to your Facebook, you could link to your hair quiz, your skincare quiz, you could link all these things. Um, and then that way you could say, oh, go to my, my website and my bio and take my quiz, my free quiz. You can reference that all the time. You can reference that anywhere. You have it. It's basically your clickable virtual business card wherever you go. And so that's the cool thing about, about social media and utilizing it like that. So the big concept is, this is my Instagram. This is not my Instagram for money, right? Even though we are going to be working our business there, we are going to be integrating the brand there. You have to put in your head, this is an Instagram about you, okay? And so that's first. Now, introducing money. Like I said, I'm talking about storytelling, relationships. Most people do not live on Instagram, right? Before... Um, before you began working your business or getting serious about it, how often did you go on Instagram and scroll? If it was every day, maybe you did live on Instagram, but I would venture to say most people do not watch your stories every single day that follow you. Okay. And if you've never done stories, you cannot assume every single person that follows you is even going to watch your first stories. Right. And so it's not really necessarily about just doing it the one time it's about a consistency okay and so what i find that i'm telling people for the most part is you need to establish your track record on social media okay and the best way to do this is through lives and i know you probably just cringe you're like oh my gosh i do not want to do a live like i didn't sign up for this that makes me super uncomfortable getting uncomfortable is the key to growth and you want your business to grow, you got to get uncomfortable with it. And I love when someone tells me their, the, why they want to do this. I love it. And then I hate, like I hate it when I go to their Instagram and their coming out post is a picture of a box. They're not even in it. And they're like, I sell them on eight now. And that's it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, your whole story and why you've actually joined People need to know this. This is what makes you different than everybody else that's selling something on Instagram. So that, that story that you're going to share, you need to click, you need to write down some notes for yourself. Like, why did I do this? Right? Who introduced you, it to you? Like, how did you meet money? Like, did you just see it? Did someone offer you samples? Like, what's that? What's that part of the story? Who introduced it to you? What did you think feel? right? Because that's how everyone that's probably going to be following you and watching this someday is going to feel. They are going to feel like, oh, no, this seems kind of shady or a pyramid scheme or whatever, right? So that's the second thing. How did you feel? Then why did you click join now? Okay. Was it, was it the team you're on? Was it the fact that you do have, you know, bills to pay and you've seen, and you've watched your friends do this or, you know, whatever it is, what made you click join now? And then a, a call to action, let people know you would love to help them with their product needs. You would love to be partnered with them. You are looking to grow in this opportunity and you are so excited about it. People need to see your face and hear your voice and they need to be a part of that. And this is why that live coming out is so, so, so important. Okay. And of course there's an onboarding checklist that you've been, you know, sent and you need to have a launch party and all these other things and contact list and this, but I'm just talking about setting up your social media for success and getting the big picture of what exactly you're doing every day on this thing. Like what exactly are you doing? Because I think a lot of people will tell me, um, I don't know what to post about. And I'm like, well, what are your pillars? What did you do this week? You know, like, and I wake up every morning. I'm like, what am I 
thinking about today? What do I feel today? Right. And I am a creative and it does come to me and I understand that, but it's my job to be able to help you guys evoke that creativity out of you um, and just kind of like unlock some things. I will tell you, if you begin to do this, okay, I've watched people go from market partner to MMB just through these, these steps I'm telling you right here. I've watched it happen. I have, it is unbelievable. And it's just one of those things where if you actually do it, do you realize it works? Um, the other thing, showing your face every single day. Like I was saying with um, what I had said before about, you know, people don't check it every single day. So if you, let's say you talk about Monet and you muster up the courage to get on your stories and, you know, mention it on a Wednesday, what are the odds that anyone that you, that you've been planting seeds with sees it? Um, maybe let's say, let's say, let's say it's a high one. Like let's say 50% chance that they've seen it, but let's say that they only go on social media and scroll stories two times a week. They could go on Monday. They could go on Friday. What are the, they don't even see your Wednesday post and you were so nervous about it because you were worried so-and-so was going to see it and you only did it on Wednesday. Okay. And I get, you got to get your feet wet. You got to, you know, kind of throw yourself into it, but you begin to show up each day. Okay. And no one can tell me I really gave it my all unless they start talking about it every single day. Like that's giving it your all. What does it take out of you and your day to open your phone and talk for 60 seconds? You guys, 60 seconds can be the change in your entire business shifting. 60 seconds, okay? And it's not gonna just be 60 seconds up front, right? It's gonna be you stressing about it all night before, right? I like to do it in the morning when I'm having my coffee because I could just touch in, talk to you, tell you a little bit about, you know, what I did yesterday or what I'm doing now. Um, and then, you know, if we have a sale, I talk about it, or if there is, you know, a promotion, I talk about it, or if I did something cool with my team, I talk about it, or like this, if you're on a training, you could talk about it, something you learned, you always want to be adding, we say the value. And, I, and honestly, the first couple of years, I was like, what does that mean? Okay, but what is value? Value is something that's authentically enriching your life. So anything you've actually learned and sharing that with people. The next best thing you can do if you if you feel like you legit have nothing to talk about is find things to suggest, be a master suggester, be a master of, oh my gosh, like this, for example, my free Britney shirt, okay? It was a total sponsored post on Facebook, but I'm gonna talk about this on my social media because it's a, it's a movement right now. It's kind of a hot topic, right? And this probably got someone else. And I want to know about it. Did this get you too? And guess what it's going to do? People are going to start talking about free Britney conspiracies and all these things, okay? And I think she has court today, but whatever. It's a whole, it's neither here nor there right now. But you, you find these little things throughout your day that are interesting. Coffee is a great one. Do you drink it black? How do you take your coffee? Talk about diets. Talk about good books, ask for suggestions and give suggestions. That's really all your Instagram can be. And you're going to learn a lot about the people that follow you. Um, and even to say like, you know, you could do a whole thing just about asking people how they found you. You could do, you know, this or that. You could do anything. And don't be discouraged if you don't get a lot of engagements up front. Because here's the thing too. If you've already kind of come out really hard and strong on money, people might kind of be like, I think she's just trying to tell, I think she's just trying to sell me something, right? That guard kind of goes up for people if they think you're just trying to sell them something. And this is why the best way to lower anyone's guard is through stories and consistently showing up to, to tell a story or to share what's happening or, you know, and this is why you guys, and you guys got to think about this. What posts? In, in general of life on, um, you know, with your Facebook friends or whatever, get the most amount of engagements. Engagements, pregnancy announcements, um, you know, life changing, life altering things, graduating from school. Like there's, there's things that people really are drawn to. 
And why is that? Because now we know, oh, she's pregnant. It's a story, right? We get to follow her for a, for nine months or however long, she, you know, it's when she announced it, maybe 12 weeks, maybe five months. I don't know. But we get to find out what gender the baby is and then this and that. And so it's people know like you're starting a story. And this is why when you have your coming out with Monet, you are going to begin to peak and shift interest with people. And you might not get, you know, hundreds and hundreds of likes on it or whatever, maybe even 12. But a year from now, six months from now, three weeks from now, two weeks from now, you could be somewhere, meet someone. They're going to be like, oh, we like you. Like, let's follow each other. You'd be out, out at a bar or whatever. They're going to be like, let's follow each other on Instagram, okay? They go home. They're up late one night. They're like, I'm going to stalk this girl. They see your why video, it makes them cry, it makes them intrigued. You might've just gotten yourself and solidified a new market partner from a live video that took you 15 minutes, two weeks ago, six months ago, a year ago. My, my videos that take me 15, 20 minutes to do, get me market partners all hours of the day, any day, anytime. So this is why setting, and we're gonna teach you the steps to set up your Instagram to not just be for now. It's for the future and it's for storytelling. And when you hit that first rank, you can share to IGTV, one of the lives you did, one of your first lives and be like, wow, I've really grown and changed since then. We're helping you build a track record of stories of yourself, of your journey with money. Um, and so I'm gonna keep it to this. This is longer than I wanted it to be, but just so that kind of helps you grasp the concept of social media, presence, what I talk about on the daily. I talk about my kids. I talk about what I'm doing. I do mention money every single day because I know I'm not hitting the same people every single day. So even if I'm talking about it every day, the same person is not going to watch, is not watching me talk about money every day. They're not, I'm getting new people, right? New audiences, the algorithm shifts around and stuff. So don't think, oh, I'm annoying one person. And even if you are annoying that person, they are either going to join you or not join you. They might join someone else if they watch you and you never say, I'm looking to grow my team. Our team is amazing. Like if you don't talk about that and mention it, people don't know. They're like, oh, she sold me on my name. And I went and joined someone else. And I know this because it happened to me a lot in the beginning before I ever knew to say these things. So that's why this is one of the first things you're hearing and how important it is because it's just super, super, super key to your success early on. Because why would we have you make the same mistakes we did, right? What kind of, what kind of leader would I be if I was like, oh yeah, just let them, let them do it wrong. They got to learn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we want to help you guys learn from the mistakes that we made in the beginning. Now it's even, it's even better. It's more integrated. And okay, so value, bringing value to your social media is anytime someone walks away going, huh, I either learned something, I felt inspired by something or like humored by something that brings value to people. Anytime you can provide a link for somebody, that's a resource like the passports. I recently talked about passports. Everyone wanted to help me, right? So I'm asking for suggestions. Help me with my passport situation, right? Everyone starts telling me their passport advice. Now I have, they're bringing me value, right? They're bringing me value. They're valuing my life because they're giving me help, right? Then I get to share that value out. This was the best two things I, I learned. And you, it's shocking how many money conversations I was able to start because I was talking about passports. I wasn't even talking necessarily about the money trip. I was just talking about passports. And so that's how you bring, use, use value, you guys. and. Honestly, you probably don't even realize the Instagram accounts that you follow. If you follow any like to know it girls, okay, this, <laughs> this is value because guess what? You can like a photo and an email comes to you with all the links, right? That is valuable. That is like, holy crap. This just made my life so much easier, right? So I am going to conclude the video right there. Um, just no, we have tons of other resources for you, but it's not too late. You can go right now. You can, you know, face, face a window, 
put on whatever pretty filter you want on your picture. Obviously, you don't want it to like morph your lips and morph your eyes to another color or anything like that. You like just pick a simple one. Take a picture facing the window so the light is nice on you. Make your profile picture a nice picture of you where we can see your face and clearly identify you, right? Change the name if it has money in it. Change it to something else. You can start now. You can start fresh. You can start doing this very properly and taking the right protocol steps to success. And I and I'm not I'm not just blowing smoke, right? I want you guys to be as successful as possible, and I and I want to see everyone really flourishing, right? And so that's one of the ways that I can help you guys do it is through these social media tips. And I honestly, I literally had two brand new market partners I had to have the same conversation with this week. So that kind of prompted me to be like, you know what, I just need a video that I can send that explains everything instead of like 300, you know, voice notes or a phone call. So um, yes, I'm okay. So that's the video. You guys, if you want to go, go to fix up and doctor up and doll up your Instagram. Um, and now I'm going to answer some questions. So if you want to stay and watch this part of the video, you can, because it's all probably going to be, let's keep them super topic specific um, for the remainder of this video. Okay. So um, what, let's see. Okay. Okay. Will you talk about how you flipped the combo from passport to money? Okay. So someone said, oh, this is what I did for my passport. And I was like, oh, when, where did you go? Or when was this, right? I'm asking more questions. I'm getting the conversation going on. I'm trying to get a feel for why this person got a passport, right? I'm getting curious. Um, and then as soon as they're like, oh, you know, we went to Cancun in February or whatever the answer is, um, which was one of them. I was like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. So I noticed you follow me, right? And like, for me, it's a lot of strangers. For you guys, it might be Sarah, you went to high school with that you were best friends with in seventh grade. I don't know. But um, I just said, oh my gosh, are you a money? Are you a fellow money sister? That's like my, that's my go-to. Um, for me, it, it, I like that it kind of assumes that they are um, and that I like them and that they're warm to me. And um, then some of them go, oh no, I've been watching. I'm like, oh, why? why not? Right. I'm just super curious. And that's where I go into the conversation. Have you ever tried it is one of the main questions I want to know, because if they say no, then I know I need to get the product in their hands some way, somehow. If I have samples, I'm offering that. If they live local, I'm like, let me wash your hair. Or let me give you products to borrow, or let me drop samples off or meet you at Starbucks. Like there's so many different ways I'm trying to get products in their hands. Um, if, if it's, um, you know, I try to maybe it just depends on, on the person. I usually go for the product talk first. Um, and then they're watching me. Right. So even if they're like, no, no, I don't want your samples. I'm like, okay, girl, I promise you, you know what, have you ever talked to anyone about money though? And they're like, no. So then I just start kind of doing my protocol with them and I get their hair problems. Oh, they're frizzy. Oh, they're oily. Oh, they're this, oh, they're that. Um, and then I start talking about and bringing the value to money. Oh yeah, I know so-and-so had oily scalp, but she's actually shocked at how long she can go in between washes with money, right? And this is all part of problem solving. You are asking for the problem and then you're just saying what you know about it, about it helping solve. And you might not know all this yet and that's fine. This is what your upline is for, your team chats are for, um, I love all the product talk questions in the chat. And that's like one of the best ways we can equip you to go out and feel confident. And I get screenshots all day long for my downline saying, they said this, what should I say about this? Um, and so that's kind of what you, you could be utilizing your upline or upline chats for. Okay. Um, are we supposed to put our page site to our social media or is there a certain way we are supposed to put it? Um, you might have been joining after that part of the video where I explained all that. I'm assuming you did. So there's a thing called Linktree or campsite where you can go in and embed links into it. And, um, you know what? We have a training somewhere. Um, when I share the recording of this, I'll share a recording of how to set up a Linktree. 
Um, because honestly, it's just really, really great to link multiple things. Um, and I know some people have take my free hair quiz, take my free skincare quiz, take my free quiz, right? Like all these different options basically that can lead to the same site. But it's a mind game with people because they're like, oh, I'm only interested in skincare. So I'm going to tap this. Well, little do they know it's going to open up and give you the option to pick skin again. It's the same link. So, um, but yeah, having that instead of, you know, money in your site, you just never want to have your website in your link. And the reason is if someone clicks on it, it's confusing. I wouldn't even know what to look at on our website. You might click join now and then you're like, uh, then you just want to look at products, right? So then you go to products and you're on a retail page and you're like, holy expensive, right? There's no, you're not able to, you're not able to intervene and build value around money before someone just decides in their head it's too expensive for them. So that's why you want them asking you you know, hey, I'm interested in money. I don't have my, I, it's, it's actually kind of crazy to me that I do get any retail customers randomly because I don't know where my website is. They must, they must have to like type in my name. Um, but yeah, okay. Um, doo, 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 doo. I think that was all the questions. Yeah, but I mean, I can't tell you how valuable showing your face is. I just, I wish I could shake everyone that just posts graphics and hides behind them because you're just truly missing a mark. And it is so important for people to see your excitement, see you using the products, taking, taking the wellness, drinking the wellness. It's important for people to see that. I remember showing up to my first event I flew to Nashville for with um, Brittany, Connie, and Krista. And we, we flew out there to launch Lauren Popoff, who's the director of the company now. Um, and we're in Nashville. And I had a few of the girls that had joined me from Indiana drive up. And um, they were like, you don't really use the products, huh? And I'm like, what? <laughs> they just did not believe we all really use money. Like they just didn't believe it. And like, these are people on our team. I mean, we were, I, I believe we were all directors at that point. And I'm just like, yeah, girl, like this is, we really use it. She's like, yeah, no, I didn't believe that. Like, I, I find it just so hard to believe. And I'm like, this is so mind blowing to me. And so we weren't, we weren't showing up every day using the shampoo on our hair, right? We had like a video how to wash and this and that. But when people actually, when you talk about, oh, I just use it and this is what it did to my hair, that that sells people more than you could ever describe what's in the shampoo. But describing what's in the shampoo isn't going to like sell anyone or make anyone want to buy it. They got to see what it's doing for you. They got to see why you love it. They got to see your excitement. They got to hear from you. They got to hear you explain how long it lasts. They got to, they have, it's just, it, you have no idea. Okay. So try it try it. And I promise you, your business is going to start to shift. I had a market partner and it's the last story I'll tell them we're going to go. But I had a market partner who was with me for maybe close to two years. Um, and she was a graphicer. Okay. And one day it just clicked and I really just kind of pushed her and I was like, just freaking post your face. Okay. Like, cause you're adorable. You're so funny. Like people need to see that. And she did, I'm not kidding, within two weeks, she was managing market partner. She had hit the first rank, okay? And she's like, wow, people were like, it's so nice to see your face. Like, it, she got such warm messages and people wanted to join her. Um, and she, and one of the girls that she brought on ended up hitting MMB within two months. So you just have, you might be, you are the only person in your way right now from your entire business changing. Um, and that's, that's really all I got to say. And there's no key other than your face, your excitement, and the fact that you're showing up. Because if you're showing up every day, and Sally over here, who Sally Joe, who knows everything about money isn't, you have the leg up. Consistency trumps knowledge and all the things every day of the week. Consistency wins. So that's my two cents for you guys. I hope you really take the advice. Those who take this and run with it, um, 
you will. I have no doubt in my mind you'll be successful. And um, that's it. Okay. So wrapping it up. I love you guys. And I hope everyone has a beautiful, beautiful day. Okay. Stop it.